how long I have it, about 10 feet. I'm going to choose it, wind it up, pull it back just as is. I like to wind it a bit if it's a thinner string. Just kind of keep some of the burn off your hand and pull it back. And then, of course, don't pull it directly. Pull it, pull it down at the ground to start, and eventually when you get good enough, actually shoot it past you, hit a target behind you, or shoot it past you and come around to the same target in a split second. So what I'll do is, anywhere it's at, a quick retrieval, you can just do a wide swing with your arm, and it's easy to grab the rope, and then, and then you're ready, all ready over here, you can do that. To grab the other side, it'll just be there, and then you can swing in again if you want and grab more. By the time I get to about the last bit of it, I want to keep about a foot or two hanging off my hand to be able to swing. So judge, I'll judge by the amount I have left. I have more than two feet. I want less than that. But I won't grab very deep on it because then when I come around, that's going to leave me with what, nothing. Unless I want to hold the blade in my hand, I will go for that. So what I'll do with this last bit, I'll come in and I'll probably just grab a tiny bit just to shorten it for a new grab and it's fine wherever you have it. And I just have sets of loops bunched up, and as long as you're swimming around and you don't wind up this section, you wanna to try to keep this area not too loose because the knife will wrap it up. That's why it's good to be grabbing it at about uh, arm width, keep that taut, and then you can easily maneuver it without hitting that. Anytime you pull it back, always be aware wherever you're yanking the force, that's where the knife's coming back. And sometimes it'll jump off of things and hop up. A lot of times it won't hop left or right, so you're good on that. But you gotta don't just assume that it's gonna come straight straight to your direction. It could hit a tree and hop higher or go low. But this is there was one all-around weapon that made sense to me. It would definitely be the rope gun. Because the materials themselves, the rope by itself can do so many things. This, in this case, is a paracord.